Stevens-Johnson syndrome, or SJS for short, is a skin reaction frequently brought on by medication that results from an immune response. It resembles another disorder called toxic epidermal necrolysis, abbreviated TEN, which is similarly brought on by drug reactions, but SJS is considered less severe as it involves between 1-10% to skin detachment compared to toxic epidermal necrolysis greater than 30%. SJS is usually brought on by a number of antibiotics, anticonvulsants, NSAIDs, and sulfa medications. Patients with cancer receiving chemo or immunotherapy most frequently experience it. Additionally, those who have HIV are more likely to acquire SJS. SJS can range in severity from mild to severe, causing vesicles, erosions, and crusts, among other skin abnormalities. Its onset often mimics flu-like symptoms, such as fever. Following these initial signs, a painful red or purplish rash begins to appear, leading to blisters that eventually rupture, leaving areas that resemble severe burns. SJS lesions may also develop in the mouth, eyes, and genital area, causing eating, seeing, and urinating difficulties. Severe systemic reactions involve the respiratory, renal, and ocular systems, and may result in blindness. SJS is primarily diagnosed through its characteristic signs and symptoms. However, in certain situations, a skin biopsy may be necessary to confirm the diagnosis. Additional tests may be undertaken to discover the underlying cause of the condition. SJS therapy typically requires prompt medical intervention due to its severity, necessitating hospitalization in an intensive care unit or a burn unit. The main therapeutic goals are eliminating the underlying cause, managing symptoms, and reducing consequences. The medicine that is causing the syndrome must be stopped right away, and supportive care, corticosteroids, and antibiotics may also be needed. In the treatment of SJS, nurses are essential. Nursing interventions may include administering pain medications as prescribed, caring for wounds to prevent infection and promote healing, performing eye care to prevent serious ocular complications, performing oral care to prevent sores and infections, and continually monitoring for potential complications like secondary skin infections, sepsis, eye issues, and lung damage. Additionally, nurses play an instrumental role in educating patients about their condition. For SJS, this can encompass highlighting the importance of avoiding the triggering medication or substance, instructing patients on skin care during the healing process, and providing information about potential complications and when to seek further medical attention. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.